Our training today is on the most exciting incentive that the company offers. This exciting is, is incentive and is called Chairman's Bonus, and each year FLP pays out millions of dollars to managers who meet the qualification requirements. Chairman's bonus, bo Chairman's bonus qualifiers are invited at company expense to the global rally to receive their checks, and how exciting that is. Any FBO can, can qualify to participate in this program that is unique in the network marketing industry. In this training, uh, I will explain exactly how it works and how you can qualify for one of those coveted Chairman's Bonus checks. Now, to understand the qualifications a little bit better, we first need to understand some different types of case credits in our marketing plan. First of them being the personal and non-manager case credits. Your personal and non-manager case credits are used to determine your qualification for leadership bonus. These case credits come from purchases made in your own name, those made by your retail clients, and those made by your Novus customers, and those made by FBOs in your group who are not under another manager. In other words, all of this group that you see off to the right-hand side of your screen, these count toward your um, personal and non-manager case credits. The purchases being made by managers and those under your managers do not count for this qualification. The next kind of case credit I want to talk about is the pass-through case credit. Now, you may have be in a point, a point in your um, career where you have a manager under you who is not active, and yet he or she has some FBOs under them that are still purchasing product. Well, because that manager is not active, those case credits pass through that manager up to you, and they are called pass-through case credits, as well as the bonus that you're receiving on those purchases. These pass-through case credits do not, I repeat, they do not count toward your personal and non-manager case credits uh, that you need for your chairman's bonus. The next type of case credit is the new case credits. Now new case credits uh, come from the personal and non-manager case credits of people that you sponsor personally to you and the people that they sponsor under them for a period of 12 processing months including the month in which they were sponsored or until they reach the manager position, whichever comes first. Now here's an example. Let's suppose that John, that you sponsored John in the month of June. And since he goes through the entire 12 months up through the uh, following May, he is still not a manager. Well, that means that all of the case credits that he does and his resulting downline do all of those case credits count as new to you. Now, after the one-year period, after the end of May, they no longer count for you as new case credits. Here's another example. Let's suppose that you sponsored Mary in the month of June, and she progresses in the business, and by the following February, she hits the level of manager. Well, all of the cases that were, that were uh, generated, all the case credits generated by Mary and her group up until the point she hit manager level they count to you as new and then they stop being new after that okay so she became a manager before the end of the 12 months your new case credits stop at that point the next type of case credit is the total case credits total case credits are exactly that they are the total case credits that a uh, that a manager can earn that you can earn as you can see they come from your non-manager groups under you, they come from your pass-through case credits that we mentioned, and they also come from your factored manager, downline man manager groups, their, their case credits, the 40%, the 20%, the 10%. All of those combined are your total case credits. And part of the requirement you're going to see a little bit later on, we're going to refer to total case credits. Okay, now that we know all about case credits, Let's begin our explanation by uh, defining several key terms that you'll need to know. First of all, participating country. A participating country ha uh, has met national sales goals during the previous year and thereby participates in Chairman's Bonus during the current year. So it's a, 
it's a united effort by all the FBOs in that participating country to generate enough volume nationally to put themselves into the program. Next is the country of qualification. This is the country in which you qualify for chair <laughs> chairman's bonus. Now, 99% of the time, FBOs qualify in the country where they live. Once in a while, we will have the FBOs who have huge groups in foreign countries, and they are able to qualify in those countries. Okay, but it's important to remember that only the case credits that are generated in the country of qualification determine the number of shares that you will have in the program and ultimately the size of your check. So if you live in North America, but you qualified in, let's say, Hungary, only the cases that you, your group in Hungary generated are going to count towards the size, the actual calculation of the size of your chairman's bonus check. Finally, we have the home country. This is the country where you have domestic status. Usually it's the country in which you live. You can only have one home country. All other countries are foreign to you. So we need to understand the home country, the, sta the, uh, the, the concept of the home country. Now we have some general requirements that are um, needed by FBOs who qualify for any of the levels in our program. We have three qualifying levels. All of them require these general points. First of all, the incentive period is a calendar year, January through December. You must be active and leadership bonus qualified every month during the incentive period, uh, either every month in your home country or every month in your country of qualification. You can't combine them you can't be active in your home country in January, February, and then active in the country of qualification in March, April. You must have the 12 months of activity all in your home country or all in the country of qualification. E either one will uh, satisfy that, qual that uh, requirement. You must, be, uh, you must abide by company policies and the code of professional conduct. Okay, you must be earned incentive qualified. In other words, you must be participating in the Forever to Drive program at least one month out of the year. You must be touching that program in one way or, an, or another. As um, Chairman's Bonus Qualifiers, we would fully expect that you had attended and supported company events throughout the year, and all of the case credit requirements that we're going to talk about in a minute must be achieved in the country of qualification except for the new non-manager case credits. Okay, now that we've got the generals out of the way, let's get to the specifics for each level of qualification. Let's talk about level one. In level one, you must accumulate 700 personal and non-manager case credits. Remember, we defined those earlier. Um, during the incentive period, these must be uh, accumulated after you become a recognized manager. Now, that's a good point I should, I should uh, emphasize here, is that if you're not a manager right now, um, you could, let's suppose that you became a manager in March. You could then go on to accumulate 700 personal and non-manager case credits after that point and be active and uh, leadership bonus qualified every month after you become a manager. And you could still qualify during the month, uh, during the year of 2017. Now we don't prorate the qualification. You still need to hit all of the qualification requirements but you need to be active and leadership bonus qualified since the time you became a manager and you must accumulate the case credits from the time you became a manager. You don't count anything that happened before you reach the level of manager. Okay, so you've got 700 uh, personal non-manager case credits, including 150 new case credits. You remember what the new case credits are? They're from people who are less than a year old in your, in your business. 150 of those. Now, here's the, here's, where, here's the exciting part. You can count up to a maximum of 150 new case credits that were generated outside of your country of qualification toward your qualification requirements. So if you lived in the, as I mentioned, in North America, and qualified uh, uh, in North America, 
but you had a group uh, sponsored in, uh, let's say, UAE, and they did 150 case credits new. They were new people, you know, less than a year old for you. You could count up to 150 of those to toward your new case credit requirement and toward your total personal and non-manager requirement. So that's exciting. If you have re-sponsored a um, FBO, they count as new for a year. So those case credits are counting for you. In addition to the case credit requirements, you must have a downline manager in the country of qualification who does at least 600 total case credits. You remember we talked about total case credits, the all-encompassing case credits from everywhere? Your downline manager needs to do 600 total case credits, not just personal non-manager, but 600 total, which makes it a bit easier for them. And um, if you have that, you have qualified for level one. If you do not have a downline manager with 600 case credits, you can fulfill that requirement in another way by having a downline manager anywhere in the world who qualifies for chairman's bonus. So either chairman's bonus manager in any participating country or a downline 600 case credit total case credit in your country of qualification. Now let's move on to level two. Let's see what's happened to my screen here. Level two. Here we are. Oh, we want level two. There we go. Sorry about that. So level two, you need to do 600 personal non-manager case credits instead of the 700, including at least 100 new case credits. And of course, a maximum of 100 new case credits from anywhere in the world can count toward this qualification. In addition, you no longer have the requirement of the 600 case downline manager, but you do have a requirement of three downline chairman bonus managers, each in different sponsorship lines in any participating country. That gets you into level two. And we have level three, where the requirement is 500 personal non-manager case credits, including 100 new case credits. Now, some people ask, why are we lowering the requirements of the personal non-manager case credits from 700 for level one to 600 for level two to 500 for level three? Well, the theory is that as you are building your group and you're developing more and more downline chairman's bonus managers, you're going to be more involved in training and motivating and helping them achieve chairman's bonus manager. So we've made your personal um, uh, and non-manager case credits a bit less so that you have the time to work with those downline managers. So for level three, how many downline managers uh, chairman's bonus qualified do you need? You need six and uh, they must be in separate lines. They cannot be under each other and they can be anywhere in the world in any participating country. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, now let's talk about, now that you've qualified, you want to figure out how much money you're going to get, right? Let's talk about how that is calculated. We take <coughs> contributions from all of the participating countries, and we have a giant bonus pool for the entire world. And let's suppose I've got here, I've got here South Africa, Hungary, and France. Now let's suppose that in South Africa, they are participating, all of these countries are participating, but in South Africa, the highest level qualified by anybody in South Africa was level one. In Hungary, we had some level one and level two qualifiers, and in France, we had level one, two, and three qualifiers. Okay, so South Africa is going to take a percentage of their total sales and they're going to contribute it to the bonus pool. Hungary is going to contribute a bigger percentage of their overall sales because they had a higher um, uh, qualifier. They are going to uh, contribute a higher percentage. And France, they had the highest, they had all three levels qualify, so they are going to contribute an even higher percentage to the bonus pool. So we take this worldwide bonus pool and then we divide it into three smaller pools, pool A, B, and C. We take one half of the total for pool A, 
a third of the total for pool B, and a sixth of the total for pool C. Then we take those pools and divide it amongst, as you see, pool A is divided amongst level 3, level 2, and level 1 qualifiers. Pool B is divided amongst level 3 and level 2, and C is level 3. And each person who qualified in each level is going to receive their, their proportionate share of their various pools that they've qualified for. So I can, you can see why the level 3 qualifiers, the checks can become very large. They are taking a piece of each of the pools. Okay, now let's give an example of somebody who's achieved level one. Let's suppose you have achieved level one, and um, over here in this chart on the right, you can see that you're, you had personal non-manager case credits of 746. You needed 700 to qualify, so you, you blew past that one. But let's suppose that in addition to that, you had some leadership case credits, which do not factor into the qualification, but they are going to factor into your earnings. We take the personal non-manager and add the leadership, so we have a total case credits for you in your country of qualification of 1,026. Now here's, you don't stop there. This, that isn't just the number of shares that you get. You see, because you helped other people become chairman's bonus, chairman's bonus qualified, you get to take the first chairman's bonus manager down each of your sponsorship lines and you get to add their total case credits to your total to determine your shares. So you did 1,026. We ha you have a, 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 a manager down one line that did 1,115 and down another line that dipped 1,700. Now you might ask, well, there's another one down underneath that 1115 manager that did 2040. Why isn't he or she included? Well, that's, I do that to point out that it's only the first one down each line. Okay? So if you add yours plus theirs, you're going to get 3,841 shares of bonus pool A. Now, let me point out that if you could only count your own, you would have only had 1,026 shares. But because you helped other people, you have tripled, you're going to triple the size of your check. Instead of 1,026 shares, you're going to get 3,841 shares. Okay. Now, each pool division is, is going to be, you're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the bonus pool Okay, in this case, it's bonus pool A. We're going to take everybody who qualified for level 1, 2, or 3 and add up all of their total shares, including your 3,841. Then we're going to take that total and divide it into the money, the size of that pool, bonus pool A, you remember? And we're going to come out with a number of dollars per share. Then to figure your individual check, we're going to take the dollars per share and multiply it by the number of shares that you have to come up with the actual dollar amount of your check. Okay, so you can see that by having these two downline uh, chairman's bonus managers under you, you have tripled the size of your check. All right, let's go to an example of, let's suppose that you qualified for level two. Now, how did you do that? You did it because you had three chairman's bonus managers under you, each in different lines. So same scenario, you did 1,026 total group case credits in the country of qualification, but you get to add to them, remember, the first one down each line. So we've got 1,650, 1,115, and 1,500 added to yours for a total of 5,291. You have five times your original 1,026 shares. Now here's where it really gets cool because you not only get 5,291 shares of bonus pool A, but you're also going to share in bonus pool B with another 5,291 shares of that pool. So we're going to take those two dollar amounts that were figured proportionally and that's going to be the amount of your check. Level three, take a look at this one. This is where you have, remember, at least six chairman's bonus managers under you, each in different lines. And in this scenario, your total 
is 13,253 shares that you receive not only of bonus pool A, but also bonus pool B and bonus pool C. And you can begin to see where some of the six-figure and seven-figure checks, how they are generated. Now, you can do this just as much as anybody else can. It just takes some time, some effort, and some focus and concentration. This concludes the step-by-step -step training on the exciting and generous Chairman's Bonus uh, Incentive.